Hey guys, I'm Nisha Homi. Today I'm sharing rustic apple tart recipe made without maida, eggs or refined sugar. Super healthy, tasty and easy to make. So let's get started with the recipe. To make easy apple tart, I'm using two apples which weighs around 500 grams. I'm going to peel the skin and core the apples. To peel the apples, I'm using my potato peeler. I'm going to slice the apples thinly. The apples are thinly sliced. Now into this I'm adding in 1 teaspoon cinnamon powder. Squeeze in 1 whole lemon. I'm crushing 1 third of a nutmeg and grinding it to a fine powder. Add in three cloves and crush and powder it along with the nutmeg. These spices will give an amazing flavor to the rustic apple tart so try not to omit it. Add in the ground nutmeg and cloves. Into this I'm adding in four to five tablespoon of crushed jaggery. You can also use jaggery powder instead. So that is five tablespoon of crushed jaggery. Instead of jaggery, you can use coconut sugar or palm sugar. And allow it to rest for about 15 to 20 minutes. For the dough, into a bowl, I'm adding in 1 cup of whole wheat flour. Into this, I'm adding in 2 tablespoons jaggery powder. Instead of jaggery powder, you can use palm sugar or coconut sugar. 2 fat pinches of pink Himalayan salt. 1 third cup wood pressed coconut oil. Wood pressed coconut oil has a very neutral flavor and taste, hence uh, it is ideal for baking. Instead of wood pressed coconut oil, you can also use virgin coconut oil. And now with my hand, I'm just making it into a soft dough. You may need to add 1 to 2 tablespoons of cold water to help it gather into a soft dough. Add in 1 tablespoon cold water. You may need 1 to 2 tablespoons of cold water to help it make it into a soft dough. Okay, now the dough is ready. So I'm going to keep it aside for about 5 minutes and then I'm going to roll it. After 10 minutes, just knead the dough again. Place a parchment paper on the work surface and place the dough in the center and lightly press it down. It's okay if it cracks on the sides. Place another parchment paper on top of the dough. With a rolling pin, roll it out like a roti. Roll along the sides. So this is how it looks once it has been rolled out. And now I'm going to keep this in the refrigerator for about 10 minutes. Okay, now let's check on the apples. The apples has shrunk and has released its juices. I'm just going to give it a mix. I'm transferring the apples to another bowl. I'm sort of straining the apples, I'm not taking the juice. Don't discard the juice, we need the juice while serving the apple tart. Into this I'm adding in 1 tablespoon of whole wheat flour, half tablespoon of wood pressed coconut oil and I'm going to mix this really well. The wheat flour will prevent the base of the tart from getting soggy. I'm using my baking tray to bake the tart and I'm placing the tart base in the baking tray. So I've kept it in the fridge for about 10 minutes. Just scoop the apples and place it in the center and spread it out a little. Make sure that you leave about 1 to 2 inches on the sides. and fold the base like I'm showing. Just 
just lightly seal if there are any openings. This is a rustic tart recipe so it need not look very pretty. I am just brushing some wood pressed coconut oil. And sprinkle some kandasari sugar on top. I have already preheated my oven to 180 degrees Celsius. I am going to bake in the preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius for about 25 to 35 minutes or until the tart is ready. After 30 minutes, rustic apple tart is ready. I like to serve apple tart while it is still warm. Let's drizzle the reserved apple juice over the tart. Let me show you a close up of the rustic apple tart. You can see that the apples are nicely cooked and the base is flaky and crispy and crunchy. So guys do try this healthy rustic apple tart and let me know how it turned out. Thank you for watching and until next time, take care. Bye-bye.